wow thank you for helping me take away the stress of public transport from my shoulders this evening oh you're welcome is this where you live yes wow with your parents with my mom wow and wow you mean your mom owns this house this beautiful house and all cars yes why don't you just pick one and drive instead of walking around the sun? Well, she wants me to get a driver first. She doesn't want me to drive yet. You see, uh. I'm her only child. And um, she doesn't want to lose me. Uh, from what she's saying, something could go horribly wrong. So, as of now, I'm looking for a driver. Oh, well, in that case, why don't you employ me? I'll be so happy to drive around a beautiful woman like you. Everywhere she goes without getting paid. What? You? My driver? <laughs> no, no, please, I'm sorry. Someone that looks as distinguished as you would look like my dad. I'm not my driver, so I'm sorry. I'll pass. Oh, well, well, that was my dream of becoming a driver. Mm, been nipped in the board before I even started. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, what does your mother do to be able to own all this? Uh, mom is a pastor. She runs her own ministry. Oh, you are a pastor's daughter. Mm -hmm. Well, that's interesting. You make it sound like a disease. Oh, no, 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 not at all. Uh, of course, I've been tuned with God myself. <laughs> it's just that, um, you know, I've not been able to go to church for a while, communicating with him lately. Uh. Uh, it's just that, yeah, I, I forgot that their own district must really be a very, very hard vocation. Uh. Well, like my mom would say, God is in control. Yeah, yeah. Well, she, she does have a point there. Mm -hmm. I have to go. Wait, wait, let me come and open the door for you now, huh? Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> That's fine, thank you. Um, is mom back? Yeah, she's upstairs. Okay. Ah, I got this for you. Wow. Oh, God. thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> You're so excited. What happened? <laughs> How? Just like somebody who I just won a jackpot. <laughs> Esther, is it now a crime to be happy? No, I've not said anything like that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm happy. You know, life is good. And besides, the Bible said, be ye not anxious about anything. You know, I'm gradually getting to that point in my life where I refuse to be anxious about anything. Wow. <laughs> That's good. Okay, um, don't worry about dinner for me. I don't want to eat anything, okay? Okay, very Let me go see mom. Okay. How was it today? Fine, mom. Stressed out, babe. Who was that with you at the gate? Aha! Uh -huh. That was how you knew I had come home. Do not try to avoid the question. Who was the man with you at the gate? Mom, he's just a friend. He brought me back home. Just a friend, eh? Remember what I've always told you about men. They are not to be trusted. 
they just get into a woman's life, they toy with her heart, and move on to the next woman to get what they really want, which is money. Men are manipulators and extortionists. Mom, why are you talking this way? Isn't that rather too harsh? You are a woman of God. Is this how you cancel a woman who has come to you for counseling? You are not just a woman that has come to me for counseling. You are my daughter. You're a beautiful young woman. And you're at the age where men, you know, start looking at you and begin to think that they've hit a jackpot. Listen. You hear? Hmm? I know, Mom. But I haven't even told you that there is anything going on between me and any man. So don't you think your advice is a little premature? Maybe it's just the way of the Holy Spirit trying to, you know, intimate me of things to come. Mm. Okay, Mom, but please tell the Holy Spirit to stop gossiping about me. <laughs> no, seriously, though, someone else would have had him arrested or was still lynched for theft. You know, honestly, I really would have loved to do more. You know, the world and the entire society needs kind gestures like that. Uh, you see, uh, we, we actually need, you know, to help each other grow and build each other. You know, that's the only way Nigeria can become a great country. Wow. Well, what a great speech. Not to worry, Nelson. If you ever decide to contest for the presidency, you have my vote. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't even go there. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do politics. Ah, that's not my tough. Oh, mm. too bad. We need visionary people like you. If you really appreciate my bringing you back home, then you will accept my invitation for lunch tomorrow. Lunch? Oh, yes, lunch. I assume tomorrow being Saturday, you're not going to be going to work, are you? As a matter of fact, I won't be. Lovely. And that is settled. And you know what? If you became even a nicer lady like you, you've shown me today, yeah. I might even volunteer to teach you how to drive. Oh! You do that? Of course. That settles it then. You have yourself a date, Nelson. <laughs> See you on Saturday. <laughs> tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Jackie, I must really thank you for honoring my invitation to come and have lunch with me. You know, for a minute I thought you would be... Mm.
kid to want to hang out with me is so that uh, people will not say you're hanging out with an older man. Hmm. Well, no, you don't look that much old. Besides, considering the way you sprinted after that pickpocket yesterday, you sure must be fit. In fact, fitter than some young guys that I know. <laughs> I can't believe this. Uh, is it just me that you're flattering like this or...? <laughs> well, I'll have you know that flattery is not a tool meant for men only. Let's wait and see. Let's <laughs> see. <laughs>
My friend decided to teach me how to drive. I see. Was that a reward for a job well done? Mom, you saw us. Yes, I did. I took a peek through the window. Listen, Jackie. I know that you're now a big girl. You must be careful. Remember what I've always told you about men. They're not to be trusted. I know, Mom. Don't you worry yourself. I know what I'm doing. Okay, then. Well, um, you go ahead and freshen up. I told Esther to leave some food in the microwave for you. That is, if you feel like eating anything. Hello. <laughs> Darling, it's Nelson. Ah, hi. Have you gotten home yet? I'm doing okay. Just got into my room. I wanted to take off this restraining clothes of mine and jump into the bath. I was there. <laughs> so that what will happen? Well, um, I would help you take off your clothes, <gasps> slowly take you into the bathroom, and put some water all over your body, then soak you down. <laughs> then after that, I'll make some soup you. <laughs> <laughs> Someone has a fetid imagination. Hey, don't let that imagination run very wild. As a matter of rule, Nelson, I do not engage in phone sex. All right, though. <laughs> Have you eaten? Uh, no. Uh, nobody to cook for me. But don't worry, I can always find something to eat later. Hey, yeah. Poor boy. All right, then. You go ahead and do that while um, I go ahead and freshen up, okay?
Did I say anything is the matter with me? I don't know myself, but I met somebody on my way home two nights ago, a guy. <laughs> and since then, I just can't stop thinking about him. You know, Machi, this has never happened before that I can't stop thinking about a guy endlessly. It's new. He's older, almost twice my age, actually, and he's obviously married. But his face, oh, his face, can't just leave my mind's eye. I dreamt about him last night. He kissed me. No, silly. At my gates, he dropped me off. I know, I know, darling. But I just didn't know when and how exactly it happened. But it felt good. So good. I felt warm and secure in his arms. Beautiful. It's lunchtime. <laughs> I thought as much. But I actually back downstairs. I was waiting to take my princess out to lunch like I promised her yesterday. Yes, of course. Is that not what you have? Huh? <laughs> anyway, honey, are you ready? All right, though. Waiting. Why are you looking at me like that? Hmm. Wow, it's amazing. You actually look like a girl I did it while I was in university. Oh. Yeah. You know, she dropped out of school and I never saw her again until this morning. Of course, things are not the way they used to be. Right now, she's. Uh, Oh, because she's sophisticated. Anyway, I don't think you would have to have for people like me anymore. And um, you say I look like this woman? Yeah, you know, in a more tender and, uh, you know, charming way. It's what you would call class. You know, back then she, if I remember correctly, she came from a very poor background. And the poverty has left a lot of mark on her. You know, she had to struggle before she could get into school. Hmm? It wasn't easy for her. And um, 
She still had those marks on her when you saw her again today. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Who should you see now? She's looking all glamorous, sophisticated. In fact, I was beginning to get overwhelmed by the looks of her. Hmm. But there was this thing about her that really made me feel so small. You know. You know, if one is not careful in life, one will get to lose the best thing that ever happened to him or her. Well, anyway, that's on the past. And now that I found you, <laughs> I'm never going to let anything take you away from me. No way. Before I forget to ask, are you not married? <laughs> no. Not yet. Why? No. But someone as obviously successful and dignified as you at your age ought to be married. <laughs> well, you see... Oh boy, you're making me feel very, very old. Well, I don't start. Um, actually, the thing is, after I left school, I, I struggled very, very hard to get to where I am today. And also, that I really never gave things away for the things of the pleasure of the world. Not talk of wanting to get married. Well, now that I've found you, I think all that is about to change. Maybe. But you don't even know me really well, Nelson. I may not be the good girl that you think I am. Hmm. Don't worry about that. The truth is, if you're being a bad girl, I definitely will not be sitting on this table with you. And there's no way I will take a bad girl into my house. Okay? And so what? Don't you worry yourself. We still have a long time, okay? We'll get to discover ourselves, get to know more about ourselves. All right? I agree.
don't brush me off with those words you used to tell me whenever I found you like this when I was still growing up. Mommy, I'm a big girl now. So please confide in me. So tell me, what ails you, Mom? It's just that I don't, I don't, I don't know where to start. I don't know what to say. See, I have been thinking about your father. My, my father. Yes. All these years, he's been a part of my thoughts. I just couldn't be with another man. I tried to find him, but I couldn't. You have to forgive me, daughter. I lied to you. I have lied to you. I didn't know if your father was dead or alive. Until I ran into him today at the mall. What? Yes. Your father is not dead. <gasps> he is alive. What? <sighs> Mom, how could you do this to me? Why didn't you tell me the truth? Do you know what it would have meant to me to know that I had a father? What did you do, mother? Sorry. I... I just... I just didn't know what to do. I... I know... It would have been such a relief for me to tell him that I was pregnant. He would have insisted that I abort the pregnancy. All I wanted was just to have a piece of him inside of me. I least if I couldn't have him. I just need to have a part of him. Oh. And when I walked out of the school that last semester, I didn't see him again. He graduated. Two years after that is why I was nursing you. And thereafter, I went back to school. I tried to find him. But it's like he literally disappeared from the face of the earth. Pray to God that he would help bring us back together again and put things right. I guess God answered my prayer. I guess this is the way he's answered my prayer, but right now I don't know if this is what I want. I don't think I want this anymore. Why not, Ma? He's my father. He's not married. Neither are you. 
Mommy, can't you see the hand of God in this matter? Uh, maybe he's the helper that you've been praying for all these years. I don't want a wrong helper. I don't want anything that will make me to lose focus on the most important things in my life and ministry. I don't want something that will come and divert the course away from that which God has set before me. The work of God must grow and prosper in our hands. We have been called, chosen, and sanctified for this purpose. And we must finish the race. I must finish the race. It's okay, mommy. <sighs> Been busy with work. Well, I have a visit too. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Mama. Is everyone taking care? Ah. Okay, what's the care? Um, spaghetti bolognese and um, yes, 
And a bottle of wine. Oh, no, no, no. No wine for me, please. Alcohol. Um, rather, I'll have um, fresh orange or pineapple juice, a glass of fresh orange juice or pineapple. That'll mm. be just fine. But I will have uh, uh, Singapore noodles and uh, pork. And uh, that's a bottle of wine. You've not lost your taste for the finer things of life. Mm. <laughs> Judas, I lost the most important one. Which is? Well, you see, as a young man growing up, I, I made a lot of mistakes. See, I had this wonderful, beautiful girl that I should have been my wife, but instead I made her my girlfriend. And that's a decision I regretted all my life. You see, <clears throat> as a young man, I really must have had a lot of young girls, you know, in the quest for survival. Maybe that's why God is punishing me for all that I've done. <laughs> God does not punish you for what you are ignorant about. <sighs> Debbie, honestly, I, I'm really sorry for all that I've done to you. I wish you could forgive me. Well, I know now that you probably have a man that is much more worthy of you than I am. But I just wish that from the depth of your heart you'll forgive me for all that I've done for you. I'm really sorry. Please forgive me. Um, what about your girlfriend, Victoria? Vicky? <laughs> I knew you were going to ask that. You see, that was a relationship My greed for money, our quest for se sexual satisfaction, well, it led nowhere. You know, she dumped me when the, the next available fiber came on board during our service year. And since then, I've been alone. It is well. <laughs> yeah, I wish I could turn back the hands of time. Well, John, <laughs> you, you can't. You can't possibly do that. So I could still start the clock ticking again. The batteries are dead. Well, come buy new ones. <laughs> it's not as simple as that, John. Look, what is stopping us? We all have the time. We have the resources. It for. just does not work that way. You can just take off and then and come back after 23 years. And expect it to just start off just like that. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. Nature abhors vacuum. Mm -hmm. If something lives, something else fills it up. That's it. It's just that my life, my heart is sold out. That's to, it. To what if I may ask? <laughs> Even if I had to explain it to you, you wouldn't understand. Try me. Oh, please, John, not now. Not now. Listen, let's just enjoy this moment. Uh, if you'll just grant me that.
Welcome to my home. It's lovely. Investment bankers must get paid an awful lot of money for you to be able to afford such a lovely home and um, such exotic cars. <laughs> oh, well, I just, I just love cars, I guess. Let's go inside, eh? Oh, huh? thank you. This place is beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Have you ever brought a woman here before? Why? Well, there is no woman who would see this lovely place who would want to go home and not live here. <laughs> uh, would you like to live here? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> Please. John, no, please, please. Not now. I, I'm not ready to have sex yet. Man, look, this is different. This is not just sex. This is, we're actually going to be making love. I know, darling. And believe me, I want this as much as you do. But I need a little time. Please. <sighs> All right, all right. Uh, you know, you can take your time if you want. Great. Now look, take as much time as you want. As long as you're comfortable, I can always wait. Huh? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs>
Good evening, brother. Oh. Morning, mm. you're home early. Yes. Nelson dropped me. Who is Nelson? The guy I told you I'm seeing. Mom, he's such an amazing guy. Can you imagine? Drive. He will come by every evening, pick me up from work, and bring me back home. Hmm. This your Nelson, what does he do for a living? Oh, he's an investment banker. Really? An investment banker. Yes. He has so much time on his hands that he's turned himself into your personal driver. Oh. <laughs> Mommy, you sure have a funny way of saying things. Mm -hmm. Well, this is your whirlwind romance. I hope that you're being careful and prayerful. Pastor Debbie, you know you can trust me. <laughs> <laughs> I know I can. I know I can. I mean, if I'd done the right things, perhaps your father will be here by now. I know. But I'm giving you another chance. So why not do the right thing and bring him back? No, I, I, I can't ask him to marry me. Why not? Why not, Mom? What is the shame in telling a man whom you love, whom you've been without for 23 years, by the way, that you love him enough to be his wife and that he should come and do right by you and his daughter. Well, if that's what God wants, then he'll make it happen at the right time. But I'm not going to try to force anything. Oh, but you don't have to. It will happen on its own. How is it going? Are the women ready yet? Yes, ma'am. They are ready. Okay. Um, I'll be there immediately. Hmm? Okay, ma'am. You go ahead. Okay.
What's happening there? Ah, okay, so when are you due back in town? Okay, then, well, um, you have a safe ship. It's not in my place to say that. But if you get anything for me, it will be appreciated. Because there's some unsaid things between us that um, I'd like us to talk about. No, you won't. <laughs> uh, well, see you then. Um, I'm sure we can uh, meet up somewhere and talk about it. What did, what did you just call me? Me. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> That's my age, eh? You're not serious. Bye. Have a safe trip. He's traveling, so he called to let me know. Mm. When will I ever see this Nelson? Nelson here, Nelson here. What do I say? Don't worry, Mom. When he comes back from this trip, I'll be sure to bring him over. Okay. <laughs> the sooner the better. And please do invite him to church also. Mm? So we can assess his level of spirituality. I don't want you to marry a man who does pretend to have God. Hmm. Yes, ma'am. I, I will bring him over and to the church as well. Okay, yeah. And um, also, a reminder, the youth summit is 6 p.m. today and you are preaching. I hope you have prepared the message. Yes, I have actually. I want to talk to them about sexual intimacy in their relationships with members of the opposite sex. Hmm. <laughs> that is quite and it's a sensitive topic at that. Well, I hope you are ready to handle it. I'm okay. Okay, darling. I can trust you. I'm so proud of the woman you've grown to be. And I'm sure your father will be very proud of you too when he eventually meets with you. Talking about my father, when do I get to meet him? Oh, um, that reminds me. Um, we're having a meeting tomorrow evening to talk about everything. Yeah, but, uh, I know the next step to take. All right, then. Let me run along. Just remember, prayer for you, pray for that message. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Have a blessed day. Yes. We love you. Love you too. <laughs> I have a program this evening. I'm supposed to talk to them about sex. But I just, I don't know what to say. My mom thinks I know, but I am as blank as a tabula rasa. The question should not be, what is it about sex that you don't know? The question should be, what do you know?
Ma. I am a pastor's daughter. Forget all that swag and shakara. I've never done it before. I am still a virgin. Father Lord, help me, I am in trouble. Nelson? Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. So, tell me how's it been? Well, fine, as you can see. I'm really glad you're here. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Oh, I missed you too, honey. As a matter of fact, I just could not stop thinking about you. You see, I had to quickly finish whatever it is I was doing so that I could come back and be with you. Oh. Oh, oh, good to hear that. <laughs> come, come, come. I prepared a very sumptuous homecoming meal for you. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. you're not going to get food to eat. Uh -uh. Until you give me what you got for me as a souvenir. Ah. Yeah. All right. Let's come. That bag is heavy. Oh, I'm Love so excited. Let's go. Darling, mm. I'm sure you must be famished by now. Wow. Come and enjoy your feasts. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is lovely. Yeah. Okay, let but, me serve uh, it. Uh, 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 wait a minute. I thought somebody said that I was not going to test our food if I did not bring out the souvenir I brought from my tree. Good. I almost forgot. Mm -hmm. Where is my gift? Well, honey. You know, about some weeks ago, 
I met this girl who I fell in love with. Mm. And it just dawned on me that I need to spend the rest of my life with her. So I thought this would be the appropriate time for me to officially ask her to marry me. God, what, what are you doing? Oh! oh. I'm sorry, I didn't know you were praying. Jackie, where are you going? Oh, I thought you were praying, Mom. I didn't want oh, to stop. Listen, God understands. He will understand that I can take a few minutes to talk with my daughter. What's all this excitement about? <laughs> Mommy, he proposed. Come now on. he proposed. Honey. <laughs> he did? Look at this. this wow. Look. This is beautiful. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Mom, are you truly happy? Yes, I am. I am. It's the wish of every mother to see her daughter find a man and settle down with marriage. I never gave my mother that joy. But you know what? I'm happy and glad that you will experience joy, the joy of a good marriage. Thank you. I'm so happy for you. <laughs> I'm happy. I am. <laughs> wow. But you know what? Yes. The only thing is that uh, I've not set my eyes on this man that we're talking about. Mom, I will arrange it. He will come, of course. Not to worry. <laughs> Okay, this is wow. I'm just very overwhelmed right now. Like, oh my god! <laughs> Look at you. So happy. Of anything. You know, I know you more than anyone else knows you. I know when you're up to some kind of mischief. You know, the thing that back in the days, I mean, you were so beautiful and full of life. Remember how we used to be the envy of all those on campus? Those were. And so was I. I was blissfully happy. You meant the world to me, you know. Is that so? So why did you break up with me and run after Vicky? Look, I said yes at that time because I thought you know, that, that, that was the only easy way for us to get out of our financial situation. You know, you know they're very, from a very rich family. Huh? And the truth is, maybe at that time, I, I was not thinking, you know. I wasn't thinking straight. And that, honestly, 
What's the decision I made that I've regret, regretted all my life? You know, you know, you didn't come back to school. I went searching for you. I didn't find you. I asked everybody I knew, all your friends. No one came up with any information for me for your whereabouts. I mean, I came up with a complete blank. It was as if it was some kind of conspiracy of uh, silence. Nobody was ready to tell me anything. As a matter of fact, I thought I had lost you for good, that you were out of my life completely. And it was at the time I was pregnant. I needed to make a decision on either to have the baby or not. Wait, 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 hold on. I, I don't understand. You mean you, you were pregnant? Yes. I was pregnant. I found out immediately after the breakoff that I was carrying your baby. Wait a minute. Listen, that's all in the past now. The important thing is that we both have a beautiful daughter. She is so beautiful. I know you fall in love with her once you meet her. <laughs> uh, uh, I really am very, very sorry. I mean, what, what can I say? T tell me, um, uh, how is she about my daughter? I mean, our daughter, how is she? <laughs> What's she like? I, I mean, I'm sure she's a grown-up girl now. Yes. Tell me about her. Yes. Huh? Our daughter is so beautiful. She has such wonderful personality. I know that you love her once you see her. <laughs> wow. And, you know, I'm so sorry. I hid this from you. But guess what? You guys have the rest of your life to catch up as father and daughter. <laughs> wow. I, I have a daughter. I have a daughter. <laughs> wow. Wow, you look good this morning. Wow. You're glowing. I've not seen you look this beautiful for a very long time. <laughs> Girl, guess what? What? Somebody's getting married! Oh my god! This is beautiful! My he god. proposed? Yes, last night! Well, this is fast! <laughs> well, we're so much in love, you know, so it is only natural to want to speed things up. Um, I think by now you must have... Is sex the only thing you think about? What else? Remember you promised that when he proposed, you're going to get to lose this, your honey hips <laughs> on him. <laughs> oh, please, I did not make such promise. But you know what? Oh, you are going to be my chief. Wow. Me. I'm happy for you. <laughs> Thank you, darling. I'll see you later. Okay, yeah, I know you gotta do my work. Hey honey. There you are. I brought you wine. There you go. Thank you. Cheers. Honey, I, I found out about something. Oh, 
Okay. If you say so. Oh yeah? <laughs> Don't tell me someone wants to give his life to Christ all of a sudden. Yeah, well, I have to show this. Christ has always got me. If it's a heart to heart you're looking to have, then you can talk to God in your closet. You don't have to go to church to see God, contrary to popular belief. Huh. You know something, honey? What? For our pastor's daughter, you're a terrible marketer. <laughs> you know that, don't you? <laughs> I'm sure my mom would tell you the same thing, too. Well, it makes sense. It makes sense. You mean your mother taught you all this? Mm -hmm. Wow. You see, I can't wait to meet your mother. Wow. Mm. Mm. Well, that means I'll have to uh, send Esther to the market to get a few things. Mm. What would you like us to prepare for him? Um, I'm not sure, but I know that he does like spaghetti a whole lot. Mmm, spaghetti. Mm -hmm. I hope you're enjoying it. Say enjoy. This is delicious. <laughs> See, can I have one more plate, please? Ah, baby. Hmm? This is the third plate you're eating now. This is no spago. Spag. Mm -hmm. mm. Give me food, Jan. Some girls are looking for who to eat, finish their food, and they're here complaining. <laughs> and I'm here. I'm telling you just for one more plate, you're complaining. Mm -mm. I am not complaining. In fact, eat it all. Mm? Eat all you like. Bring them and get some Let me run up with this one. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. I'm trying to circulate. <laughs> Balanced diet. <laughs> ah! mm -mm. I drink water. It's okay, drink water. Be mm. fast, be fast. Mm -hmm. right. I still have the appetite now. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh. Mom? Y yes, dear. Why are you smiling all of a sudden? Oh. You just reminded me about a friend I had that she used to love spaghetti a lot. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Thank you, sir. Ah, how are you? I'm fine, sir. My name is Nelson. Okay, you're welcome, sir. <laughs> Thank you. I'll be in the kitchen, bro. Um, be relaxed. Let me go fetch my mother. Mom, just 
interested. He's here. Oh, he is? Mm -hmm. Um, what's his name, McCain? Nelson. <laughs> yes. Um, okay. Um, I'll just brush my hair and I'll be down in a bit. Okay. Hmm? Hurry, mommy. Oh, I don't want to keep him waiting. Okay, dear. And tell Esther to serve dinner. All right. Hmm? Okay. I'll be right down. Oh, hurry. <laughs> okay, dear. John, you are Nelson? But the good thing is that she will be fine. I'm assuring both of you, we can handle it. So, for us to do our thing, I suggest you just go to the reception and wait while we do the necessary things to stabilize her. Thank you, Doctor. You're welcome. Thank you. Just put yourself together. She will be fine, I assure you. Nothing to worry about.
No. No, Debbie, no. This can't be. No! Jacqueline, my baby. Yes, mommy. I'm so sorry. For what? John. Jacqueline is your daughter. Jacqueline. John is your father. It's okay, my baby. It's okay, Jackie. I should be the one asking for your forgiveness. I mean, it's all my fault. I should have told you. Shh. I, I, Mom, stop blaming yourself. You did what you had to. How could I blame you when I realized that everything you did, you did out of your love for me? Thank you for not aborting that pregnancy. Thank you for giving me life. I love you so much, Mom. You give me life even though circumstances forced you not to. And for that, I am very, very grateful. I love you much, Mom. Thank you so much. I love you, my baby. I love you, my baby. It is going to be fun.
I'm coming. John, what are you doing here? You know how Jack is feeling about you right now. He should have called before coming. See, I can watch any time, John. You must leave. It's all right, Mom. I asked him to come. You did? Yes, Pastor Baby. Don't you worry yourself. I'm not going to throw any tantrum. Hi, Dad. Hi, dear daughter. Did you come on in? What was that? You don't hear that. Um, so Jackie and I have been talking. Many faces. Is that so? Yes. How come I was not let into this? Well done. Now you know. And besides, didn't you say you hoped I could patch things up with my dad? It was even one of your prayer points. Uh, yes, it was. And so is this an answer to my prayers? Yes. Oh, yes. And um, guess what, Mom? Jackie, what is it with me? Oh, nothing. Just that God is about to answer another one of your prayer points. Really? So... Um, well, uh, well, uh, Jackie and I, you know, we've had a very, very long conversation and uh, we both agreed that most gentlemanly thing I could do is to ask uh, uh, the mother of my child's hand in marriage. Um, oh, I, I, I'm, Don, I, are you sure you know? What's he doing? What, what are you saying? Yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Well, in short, this is something I should have done a long time ago. Uh, oh, my dear woman of God, you did mention some time ago that uh, you will need help with the ministry and the church. But if you would allow me to share a burden in Christ, Oh, she said yes. And I will tell the world what a unique child I've been to be one of the few children to witness their father proposing to their mother.